a minute. Very tough. Very tough, my this is Funkers, Texas on the Double Cross Ranch. As far as you can see to the left, that's my property. In any direction as far as you can see, that is my property. I have a gated entrance so I can keep anybody out that I want to. And believe me, I live a life of solitude. All except for one individual. Jerry Lawler has taken up residence in my mind and he's been in my mind for the last 20 years, over two decades since he destroyed some of the vision in my right eye. I had a call from Memphis, Tennessee in the hospital. It was from Corey Mack and he was blabbering and blubbering and bawling like an idiot and he said to me, oh Terry, oh Terry, I need your help. I want you down here now, please come Terry. And I said to him, why? He said, because Jimmy Hart and Jerry Lawler had beat the hell out of him. I said to him, Corey, don't worry. I will be there like I said on the night of the 28th of August in the Mid-South Coliseum. I will be there, not because I love you, Corey Mack, because I hate Jerry Lawler, not because I love Memphis, Tennessee, or the people in Memphis, but because I hate Jerry Lawler with a passion. Take a look at the man. Look at his facelifts that he has. He looks like Bob Barker. What I am going to do is I am going to give Lawler an extreme makeover on the 28th. I'm going to give him a two-fisted makeover. I'm going to lower his eyes. I'm going to widen his nose. I'm going to fatten his lips. And I'm going to realign his teeth. And then I'm going to pull every transplanted hair out of his head. And then I'm going to put my foot so far, so far up his, so far up his, so far up his poo-poo, he'll have to go to the hospital to get it out. Lawler, there has to be a finality to this. And it's going to be the night of the 28th. I promise you that. Bring that wimp Jimmy Hart with you. I don't want Terry Funk having those feelings about me. Ooh. We gotta take a break. We gotta take